Hey guys, I just got done fabbing up a set of Amp Research Power Steps on my 85K10 and I thought I would put together a video documenting the install of these on the truck. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I do have dual saddle tanks on the truck so I wasn't able to completely hide them uh, up behind the rockers but they're pretty close. Here you can see them deployed. Uh, we've got LED lights that are adjustable so you can select which color you want. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how these things turned out. So I thought I would put this video together just to kind of show everyone the fabrication work that went into installing these. Uh, AMP doesn't make a set specifically for these square body trucks, so uh, I found a set from a newer F-150 and kind of modified to fit. So, with that said, a new set of these AMP research boards are typically right around $2,000. I wasn't willing to spend that and buy a brand new set just because I wasn't sure how well they would fit. Um, so, I kind of was keeping an eye out on... Uh, Facebook marketplace for a set to come up and I did eventually come across a set that a guy had pulled off of a 2019 F-150 crew cab so uh, I got a pretty good deal on those and I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and attempt to mock them up on the truck so you can see the set that I got here uh, they are the Amp Research Power Step Extremes. These are like $2,000 new. Um, I got them for less than half of that, so uh, I just went ahead and pulled the trigger. Now once I made the purchase, the steps were a little bit too long for the truck, so I had to determine how far I needed to cut them down. Uh, so I pulled a measurement on the truck on that lower lip, from behind the front tire to the opening at the rear tire, and that was 75 inches. So I took that measurement, transcribed it onto the set of uh, AMP research boards that I got, and went ahead and cut those down to 75 inches. And the nice thing about these boards is you can cut them down. AMP actually does call out when you buy a new set sometimes they have to be modified so uh, it's not uncommon to have to cut these down and also the brackets are fully adjustable as well so you can slide the brackets anywhere along this running board um, which makes it makes it very modular so once I had it cut down I came back with a file and cleaned up any of those burrs that were left over um, and then the end cap which is held on by a little plastic clip. Uh, I pulled that off. It's on there pretty tight, so you usually have to work it off. And once I had that off, I then was going to retrofit that onto the cut down board. So pretty much all that takes is a small drill bit. You install the end cap, uh, drill the whole opening, and then I took a small stainless screw you can use the plastic clip, but I just had a stainless screw sitting around and I screwed that into uh, the hole that I drilled just to keep that end cap in place. So here you can see the end cap installed on the running board that I cut down. And this is the piece that I cut off. So uh, it is about 10 and a half inches that I took off of the running board in order to get the 75 inches that I needed for the truck. All right, so with the board cut down, the next thing I really needed to figure out is where I was going to mock up my brackets to support the running board. Um, and because I have the dual saddle tanks, I'm kind of limited in location to mount it. So directly forward of the fuel tank there is an empty spot on the frame um, that I used for the forward bracket uh, for my running boards 
But you have to be careful because you do have a body mount uh, for the truck that is just a little bit more forward of that. So in between the forward body mount and the saddle tank is where I mounted my forward bracket. And then at the rear of the truck, directly behind the saddle tank is the leaf spring perch. So what I ended up deciding to do because I had enough clearance in between that perch, I decided to mount my bracket in that location. I possibly could have worked it out behind that and done an offset bracket, but I like that location the best. So once I had that determined, I then took my tape measure um, and pulled some measurements in between the perch. I knew I had about like six and a half inches of clearance. Um, I also took some measurements off the frame to kind of get the distance that I wanted for the AMP Research deployable arms. So I did this at both the front of the truck and the rear of the truck. Took as many measurements as I could to kind of give myself a good idea of exactly what I was going to build. And once I had all of the measurements that I needed, I then very quickly put together a few sketches of what I was going to build. So this is the very early drawing of the front bracket. Um, and this is looking in towards the frame. So that rear bracket, that six inch by four and a half inch bracket, that's what's actually gonna sit against the frame. I then plan to use a piece of square tube that was about 14 inches in length. You can see 13, three quarter uh, off of that inner plate. And then I was gonna use a offset outer plate uh, that's 10 inches wide, five inches tall to mount my power step. So the rear bracket is very similar, um, but the frame sits a little bit higher in that location at the spring perch. So I had to offset the bracket um, down versus horizontally. Also, the inner bracket had to be a little bit smaller just to fit in between the spring perch. Uh, so I decided to do just a pure square there, four and a half inches by four and a half. Um, I also had to come out a little bit further with that square tube, uh, a little over 14 inches there. And you can see my dimensions there for the outer piece that the AMP research uh, step actually mounts to. Now with a design in place, I was ready to go ahead and start cutting all of the metal down. Um, I went to one of our local metal suppliers, picked up everything that I needed. They had it all in stock. Um, and then I cut that down to size. And I picked up all this metal before I had kind of taken my final measurements. So I got everything longer than I needed just so I could modify from there. I knew I had plenty of extra metal left over um, to really to play with. And once I had the square tube cut down, came back and marked all of my dimensions on my steel plate and cut that down as well. As you can see, I ended up just using a angle grinder with a metal blade. Um, this may not be as precise, but for what I was doing, uh, it really didn't matter. I was gonna be modifying some as I went anyway, so as long as things were, were pretty close, then, uh, then that was good. Now just as a note, the stack up on these trucks is going to be slightly different um, between the frame and the body from truck to truck. So you can't necessarily take the measurements that I have here and just cut and slap on your truck. You definitely would have to take some measurements. You know, some of these, some of these measurements could be off by as much as half an inch. So. Um, when trying to, to mock some of this stuff up, definitely want to pull your own measurements on your specific vehicle. All right, 
So here you can see the rear bracket. This is the six inch by nine inch face that the amp research bracket will actually attach to. Um, and then this other piece, the four and a half by four and a half inch plate is what will mount to the frame. So I've got this just kind of sitting here together, um, kind of in the orientation that, that I plan to, to weld it up. So this piece will actually mount <clears throat> in between the rear spring perch. All right, and then over here I have the forward mounting bracket. So uh, this four and a half by six inch piece is the part that mounts against the frame. And then down here is our 10 inch by five inch outer plate where the amp research uh, step will actually attach to. This is our horizontal setup um, just because of the clearance that we have under the cab. So uh, I'll drill holes in this as well and we'll start mocking it up. Here I'm just marking the location for my 3 8 bolts. Uh, I pulled a measurement 3 quarters off of each face. Uh, that way I have a spot to, to drill those holes. So I'll drill out the holes in those locations and I need to do the same thing on the other plate as well. Alright now as far as setting up the holes for the amp research bracket on the, the outer plate, um, I just pulled some measurements off the amp research uh, retractable steps. So from the bottom of the bracket there you got about half an inch as well as from the side of the bracket. Um, and then from the center line of each hole, there's about four and three quarter uh, inches that separate those. So pretty much I just took my measurements and then I transcribed that onto this plate. So took my half inch measurements off uh, the sides of the bracket and then separated the holes by four and three quarter. Now in order to get the third mounting hole position um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill out these two holes put the amp research um, bracket in place get it all mounted up and then I should be able to easily drill out that third hole uh, just because it's not directly in line with either of the the other two holes it's going to make it make it a little bit easier on me um, to get that position all right and then for the second piece of plate i did the exact same thing just pulled my measurements off the bracket and got the hole placement where i wanted it all right so now i've got my holes drilled and I have all of my grade 8 hardware ready to go. So now I will mount up the bracket onto this plate. Okay, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, I have my amp research step mounted up. And now I've got to figure out how I'm going to compensate for this space between the plate and the amp research step. So... My plan is to take a piece of Schedule 40 pipe. Got that right here. And what I'm going to do is cut that down to length and use that as a spacer between the plate and the, and the step. So you can see that's the pipe. I'll run a bolt through it. And that should give me the reinforcement that I need at the top of this bracket. Okay, so I cut that down. Uh, I cut it down pretty tight. That way it just barely fits in that space. Uh, and now what I need to do is uh, I'll come back with a drill bit and drill a hole for my bolt to, to mount up. Okay, so that's done. 
As you can see, I've got my amp research step all mounted up. And same thing with my horizontal plate. So this will go towards the front of the truck. Um, but with everything mounted up, I'm now ready to start welding all the pieces together. Okay, so I marked out and measured where everything's going to go on each plate. So now what I'll do is I'll go through and clean up the metal really well. I have measurements as well on exact locations. Um, but yeah, I'll get the metal cleaned up and get prepped to weld everything up. All right, first bracket is done. Uh, this is what it looks like if you were looking from the frame out, how the, the step will mount up. So that would be your frame face, and then step will mount up out there. Uh, I'll repeat this for the other bracket, and then I will get it mounted up on the truck. All right, so I'm back out at the truck. I've got both my front and rear brackets welded up. You can see I'm sitting here. This is my rear bracket. I ended up just tacking the one side. That way, if I need to make any slight adjustments, I can. And then this is my forward bracket. So my plan is to take both of these, kind of get them mocked up into position, make sure I've got my step completely level um, and spaced properly from the ground and then once I do that uh, I'll be able to drill the holes in the frame and get them uh, mounted in position to test. Okay so this is kind of how I got everything mocked up. I used a couple jack stands you can see this is my rear brace sitting in between the spring perch in the back. Um, it sits very close to uh, the bedside on the outside. So I, I think I'm going to still have to make a few minor adjustments here, but it's, it's pretty close to where I want it. And I, I have the bottom of this just supported by a jack stand. You can see that here. Uh, I do plan to, to raise this up a little bit. You can see the bottom edge of that plate is sticking out under the bedside, so I'll be modifying that. Um, and then here is the forward brace. And 
So it fits pretty well in there. What I'm gonna do is make a few tweaks and then I'll come back and show you kind of how I got things level. All right, so I've been fooling with these quite a bit. Pretty much after tweaking, I've got both of them perfectly level. You can see the front one there. Same thing with the back here. Put a level across it and it's it's perfect so the other thing I did is got the step up a little bit higher made some adjustments we're right at 16 inches to the top of the rear pad same thing in the front here pretty much dead on 16 inches there to the top of that pad Big thing here is you want to make sure that you're on a flat, even surface when you're pulling these measurements. Um, but it's pretty critical that you get both steps at the same height and that they're both level or else you're going to have a tough time remounting your running board onto the steps. So this is definitely a critical part of your installation. So with these all ready to go, what I'm going to do now is mark the location of the holes on the frame using some spray paint uh, and then I'll come back and drill the holes. Alright, I had some self etching primer sitting around so I marked the center of each of the holes on my braces and I came through and drilled a small pilot hole first. So that's what I'm doing here right now. My light falls about 20 times during this recording, so don't pay attention to that. But um, pretty much I came through and stepped the size of those holes up until I got to the 3 8 hole that I needed to install my bolts. Okay, so with the holes drilled, I first uh, mounted everything up just to test fit it. Once everything fit and I knew I was good, I finished off my welds and also painted the brackets and came back and reinstalled everything. So you can see how tight the clearance is between the amp research arm and the actual spring perch on the truck. Um, so, you know, I designed that to get the, get the step back as far as I possibly could. But you can see it mounted up here. Uh, I'm happy with the way they turned out. I just painted them in a flat black. Um, so they, they match inside the truck pretty well. And then this is the front here. So mounted up pretty well. You got to be careful because... Uh, you do have fuel and brake lines that run on the inside of the frame rail, so pay attention for those as you're drilling. Um, but yeah, the big thing in the front here is that motor has to be rotated down in order to clear the bottom of your cab. So, um, you know, that was one alteration that I had to make because the motor was hitting up there. I should have mentioned that in one of the earlier videos, but it doesn't hang any lower than um, the transmission cross member, so it's not like it's the, the lowest thing on the truck, but that is one thing that, that has to happen. And looking at these from the front of the truck, I mean, they're, they're hidden pretty well. If you don't have saddle tanks, you could get them a little bit higher to tuck actually up behind your rockers but with the saddle tanks this is pretty much as as close as I could get them but I'm happy with how they turned out I still have to make some tweaks on the driver's side but overall uh, I'm happy with the way they turned out and then operationally once I got them all wired up I mean they work great the wire and straightforward I added my own custom LED lights and uh, I've been using them for a little bit now, so 
highly recommend if you're looking for a step on your square body truck. And I think the big thing here is if you can find a set of these steps, um, they're, they're fairly easy to modify, so don't be afraid to pick up a set and adjust them to fit your needs. So with that said, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hope this helps some people out. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. Thanks.